Okay guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really um, neat little trick. It's uh, how to make a, a mirror or a glass or anything that's like transparent. First example I'll show you is how to make a uh, like a reflection in the mirror or something like that. Alright, so let's make uh, a mirror right here. Alright, well the line's kind of thick. Let's make that one. All right, so <clears throat> this will be the mirror. All right, it's like it's angled in perspective. All right, so <clears throat> copy, paste. Um, let's give. This is going to be the frame. You know, this is just like a neat little trick you can use, I guess, if you're making a, I don't know, whatever. Um, and let's color the mirror. Uh, uh, let's use a blue, like a light blue or something. All right. So now, <clears throat> there are two ways you can you can go about doing it. One way is you could select this, the fill, and actually make it a... Uh, you could make it a um, a a symbol, and then manipulate that symbol, but the frame will remain unchanged. Or if it's just something simple you want to do, you can just um, uh, just select it, go to uh, color, and where you see the A, it means alpha, which means uh, transparency. And then you can see once you move the cursor over the the number, the percent, you can just tap and then slide to your left or right. This would, to your right is the degree. the The more you go towards a hundred, you make it more opaque. The color is solid, and the more you go this way, the more transparent it gets until it virtually disappears. All right. So you want it around, uh, say, you know, you can play around with it. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see the effect once we have something we want to reflect. So let's reflect something simple like a, a, a ball or something, right? Let's color it, uh, say, red. There you go. That's like a pink. See, actually what happened was it applied the the same property to the, the this ball itself. So I'm going to change that and make that 100. There you go, see, see, it's a solid red. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> shall I leave the outline? I'm going to copy this, right? And on another layer, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to lock that initial layer that has this. I want to paste that in the new layer, right? Paste. See, so this is what happened. Notice that it, it seems just as bright, and that's because it's in the layer above. So basically, it's on top of the mirror. Once I move this layer below, it goes underneath. See? And that's how you create the um, reflection. Pretty simple. So if I wanted to add streaks to this, you know, like add some streaks to the mirror, I could just do something like uh, make a streak going across like so. Maybe another one. Like, uh oh. Uh, move it up a little bit. Yeah, like so. And then, um, I'll blow it up a little bit so you can see it. And then I'll paste this maybe with, I'll color this in with maybe like a a light blue maybe something like this and then this would maybe like a uh, something lighter and then I'll just delete the strokes then I'll just make the streaks themselves also transparent see that and it's uh, that simple see 
So now you have your little reflection going on. You can see, you can pretty much use this for uh, just about anything. If I wanted to make, um, I don't know, uh, a glass, for example, All right? So um, let's make this, I'm going to make this a glass, like it has liquid in it, you know? And then um, something like so, right? And then let's copy that, paste in place, and I'm going to make it a little smaller, right? So, right? Like so. And then <clears throat> I'm going to, let's see how I can make it seem as if it's, you know, half full or something. So let's make a line that goes across like so. And then I'm going to fill this. Um, so actually, this could be any color. I'm just, you know, whatever drink, say, it's, for example, it's a drink. And then um, we could delete the line or leave it, whatever. It's up to you. Um, and then in that glass, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put like a, like ice or something or a cherry. Oh, actually, I just use the same thing. The same shape. Copy and paste it. Put it somewhere here. And let's say this is a, uh, like a cherry or something, right? Um, let's use a line tool and give it a little stem, all right? <laughs> and then maybe make it a little smaller. And there you go, see? So <clears throat> now it's almost like um, it's it's in the, the thing. And if you want to, you know, um, really exaggerate the effect, you can even bring it a little halfway up, see that? Tilt it a little bit. See, it even has that. Or you can even create a straw, you know. <clears throat> uh, let's use a rectangular tool, like so. Um, uh, uh, color this. Um, No, let's use a different color, like a green straw, or whatever. And then, and generally, it's, it's it's advised to like you know whenever you make objects, you make them symbols, you know, so that way, the artwork doesn't get like get you know overlaps or messes with something else, because once you you would just work with the raw art like this. Once it touches with like the cherry, for example, you know, see, then it becomes, you know, the, the, that happens. But if they were symbols, once you have them overlapping or whatever it is, it doesn't matter, all right? So, <clears throat> you know, you could have something like that, all right? But notice that the straw shows like so. But if I had the um, the glass filled in, you wouldn't see that, all right? So let's uh, lock that. If I had this filled in, see the the straw doesn't show in that way, right? <clears throat> so you know that's pretty much how you make uh, transparent um, surfaces and and stuff like that. All you have to do is just make whatever the surface is that will be transparent. You just uh, use the alpha tool, which is this A in the color panel or tab. You see the A and it means transparent. If it's 100, you know, it's um, completely opaque. And if you want it to, you know, the more you go towards zero, the more transparent you make it. And it's, you know, it's pretty simple. 